Am I actually walking along this path to a cemetery that's out in the middle of nowhere? Just off the edge of a ghost town? I don't know yet. Stay tuned. Find out. Because I really don't know either. We're just walking here. Justin is finishing up work. It is actually Friday um, and we're heading out uh, tomorrow, but he is finishing up work and I thought that I would just hop down the road exactly three minutes from our RV park is Fairbank, Arizona. Um, it is a ghost town along the banks of the San Pedro River um, that is actually well preserved um, in more of an authentic state, I would say, um, than somewhere like Tombstone. Um, it is, as you can probably hear, very quiet out here. Um, I am the only person out walking around at the moment. Um, there is someone in the schoolhouse here um, giving out information. It's open uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I can hear some occasional traffic from the road, um, which is right next to the town, but that's it. Um, I am just able to walk around at my leisure. It is free. Um, donations, of course, accepted and appreciated. <laughs> always but um, this area is actually um, operated by uh, Bureau of Land Management um, and it's under the San Pedro River Conservation something um, but anyway so it's operated by them but it's a really neat area I didn't know anything about this town until we were checking into our um, RV park the um, person in the office actually gave us some information about it let us know that it's a pretty neat place to visit because it is so authentic. Um, it is a ghost town. There are many of them in this area, but it is one that is fairly well preserved, um, but preserved in a more authentic state. So interesting to walk around. I'm glad um, it's kind of one of those little happy, you know, things that you kind of discover um, that you weren't planning on and so sometimes those can, those can be the neatest experiences I think um, the things that you don't plan you have no expectation of what they're gonna be like so it's pretty neat I'm just gonna walk around and see what I see They've got some sort of operation going on here. I don't know if this is to restore or just to maybe prevent any further damage, but these buildings are definitely fenced off. They are not safe to enter. But I actually appreciate that. I mean, it's sad to see something fall into disrepair, but at the same time, it's kind of nice to know that it hasn't been continually added to, restored to a point where barely anything of the original structure remains. So I don't know, it's kind of one of those things you want it to live on, but at what cost maybe?
exactly realize what this was when I was filming it, but you know. So even though Tombstone is the famous um, town in these parts, there are two things that the mining town did not have, and one was access to water. Um, two was railroad. So Fairbank actually sits on the San Pedro River, so it had both of those things. It was the closest railway stop to Tombstone, so it is where um, the mills were, and it is also where the um, ores that were mined in Tombstone were actually um, sent by train elsewhere. So, as you can imagine, when the mines in Tombstone flooded and closed, um, Fairbank also um, kind of dried up as well. So, kind of sad but interesting to see what happens, kind of a chain reaction of what happens when one town um, kind of suffers tragedy or, um, you know, kind of bad things happen, how that affects other towns in the area. So, I didn't know anything about this area. It's been really interesting to come out and see, though, um, what it looks like today. And um, imagine it's a little easier here than in Tombstone to look at these streets and imagine what life might have been like in the 1880s when, um, you know, so much was happening in this area, so much mining and so much of a, the boomtown phenomena was happening. And then it's very easy to imagine, actually doesn't require much imagination at all, to um, imagine what the um, end of that boom looked like. this back and there's someone walking behind me. We're in trouble because I'm the only one on this path. Well this escalated quickly. This is who I am now. Luckily, there were a few more people here, living people here. This is a really serene area though, on this hilltop, overlooking the little river, kind of valley in a way, down in all these mountains. I'm really glad I came up here. <laughs> 